Welcome back to Mathematic. Today, we're going to look at a fascinating mathematical trick that comes from one of the greatest minds in history, Carl Friedrich Gauss. It's said that when Gauss was around eight or nine years old, his teacher, Johann Büttner, gave the class a task to add the numbers from one to 100. The teacher likely thought it would keep the students busy for a while, but young Gauss found the answer almost instantly. After only a few moments, Gauss walked up to the teacher's desk and placed his slate down, with the answer written, 5,050. His teacher, assuming this was impossible to do so quickly, thought Gauss was just playing a prank or making a wild guess. But when he checked the answer, he was astonished to see it was correct. Instead of tediously adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on, Gauss discovered a brilliant shortcut. Here's how Gauss did it. He realized that if you pair the numbers in a clever way, the solution becomes much simpler. Let's take a look. The sum we're trying to calculate is 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 100. Gauss paired the numbers from opposite ends of the list. For example, he took the first number, 1, and the last number, 100. He noticed that their sum is 101. Then he took the second number, 2, and the second to last number, 99. Again, the sum is 101. This pattern continued for each pair of numbers. Gauss realized that he could form 50 such pairs, each summing to 101. So to find the total sum, he simply multiplied the number of pairs, which is 50, by the sum of each pair, 101. 50 times 101 1 equals 5050. So, the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100 is 5,050. This method works because Gauss spotted a pattern and used it to simplify the problem. Instead of adding 100 numbers one by one, he broke the problem down into a smaller, more manageable calculation. And the best part? This technique can be applied to any sequence of consecutive numbers, not just 1 to 100. For example, if you want to add the numbers from 1 to n, you can use this simple formula. Sum of 1 to n is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. For the numbers 1 to 100, we plug in 100 for n, which gives us 100 times 101 divided by 2 is equal to 5050. And that's how Gauss, even as a young boy, solved a problem that could take quite a while by hand in just a few seconds. It's a great example of how powerful mathematical thinking can simplify even the trickiest of problems. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.